Perform until Exit is a new feature for Enterprise COBOL 6.4. In this video, learn about the valid syntax, the two invalid syntax, and a new compiler error for them, why you must be careful if using Exit Perform cycle, and if you are thinking I have coded perform statements without using Exit for 30 years, this Perform until Exit is useless, keep watching to learn why it has a place, and how you likely have emulated perform until exit during your 30 years. Hello, I'm Chris P. Fry. This is another episode of Dinosaur Parkour Faster, Better Mainframe Programming. The valid syntax formats are perform paragraph A until exit, perform paragraph A through paragraph B until exit, and the inline perform is perform until exit followed by a series of inline statements and the inline perform is terminated with an end perform. Until exit is not allowed with perform varying. Also invalid are perform with test before perform with test after, the key phrase being the with test clause. If you code either of the two invalid variations, the compiler will flag the statement with the following message. Compiler error 2264, and until exit phrase is not allowed in a perform statement that also has a with test phrase or a variant phrase. This demo loop is processing records from sysin. If the word exit is found somewhere within the record, it leaves the loop. For example, if this loop is processing the following record, the word exit is in position 20. When exit reaches a value of 20, the second when becomes true. The exit perform is executed. Control transfer to the move verb at the bottom of the screen. If the word exit is not on the record, the loop terminates when exit becomes 75, which makes the first when clause true. What about cycle? Notice the record text. When exit has a value of 12, the third when is true. Thus, the exit perform cycle is executed. However, this does not exit the loop. It means loop again. Some languages use the word loop to trigger this action. Rex uses iterate. When you see the phrase exit perform cycle, insert the word the current after the word exit. Thus, you would read that line as exit the current perform cycle. Control is transferred to the first statement in the loop, which in this example is add one to exit. So XX becomes 13. Now the third when looks at the Y through the question mark on the record, and the loop continues doing a loop until XX becomes 75, at which point exit perform is invoked. During the intro, it was stated that the exit perform cycle requires some caution. That is because in this version of the loop, an infinite loop is created when the record contains the word cycle. When XX becomes 12, the third when is true and control is transferred to the first statement in this loop. That is the evaluate, and XX is still 12 because the add 1 to XX is after the evaluate. When using exit perform cycle, the fields that are incremented need to be done before any condition that triggers the loop again action. Prior to perform until exit, you might have emulated it by using a flag. Consider the following pseudocode. There are two conditions for exit and loop, and those conditions cannot be evaluated at the same time. A quick code walkthrough. Ensure the loop is entered by setting the loop start to true, do some COBOL logic, then check to see if it's time to exit the loop. If not, do some more COBOL logic, followed by another check to see if it's time to leave. If not, 
the loop start flag is true, which triggers another iteration of the loop. This is basically a perform until exit using an 88 conditional name exit loop to trigger the termination of the loop. Notice the more COBOL portion of the logic. That is part of the else on purpose. If the loop exit flag is set to true, we do not want the more COBOL line to be performed because those lines might change the final result. They were made part of the else to avoid that issue. The logic gets a bit cleaner when using perform until exit and exit perform. Now, when either of the conditions to leave the loop is triggered, the exit perform passes control to the move statement after the end perform. With that said, we can make one more tweak to this code. The more COBOL lines do not have to be within the else. If some condition is true, the exit perform jumps to the move statement outside of the loop we're able to refactor the more COBOL lines outside of the else clause, this reduces the level of netting and in my opinion makes the code more readable. I, for one, am happy that IBM has implemented the perform until exit.